Two strong winds that go in the opposite direction. Um, in art, we made some tornado drawings made out of pasta. On Monday, we did some acting about tornadoes. In year two, we learned all about flooding. Flooding is when there's water all around and there's nowhere for it to go. Flooding can be caused by deforestation dams breaking, heavy rain, heavy snowfalls and and urbanisation. We did some artwork of people stranded in some floods. We built dams to stop the water from coming in and built a houses up high and we also put some sandbags to soak up the water. We built an evacuation kit. An evacuation kit has things that you need to survive in a flood. In an evacuation kit you might need water, clothes, a torch, some food and a first aid kit. We have been learning about volcanoes. Volcanoes are destructive mountains that are formed when tectonic plates push together or move apart. Lava and ash come out in volcanic eruptions. We made clay volcanoes and then first we wet our fingers with some water. Then we rolled the clay to make a volcano. Then we made holes in the middle to make the crater. Welcome to the airport's display about our earthquakes. So in this corner, we, we try to make earthquake-proof structures, making, uh, making it out of marshmallows and toothpicks. Let's test it out. Now that's a earthquake proof job. 
structure. Can you build an earthquake proof job building? You have been to the Pixar Marshmallows. On this side, we have been learning that earthquakes can cause tsunamis, and we in arts we have been drawing tsunamis and writing poems, and we have also been seeing how much power the school has used throughout the whole week. These are the tectonic plates. This is how the earthquakes are caused. They can either be made by rubbing together, pulling apart, or going against each other. We want you to put the tectonic plates together. Thank you for listening. Good morning, Phoenix Federation. In year five, we have been learning about avalanches. Here are some of the learning we have done over this week. So here's some of our inventions. Some called the money maker and the outfit creator. In year five, we, we did some experiments. Um, so one of them, we, we poured flour, sugar, and brown sugar onto, on the edge of a tree and we, tip, we slowly tipped it to see what angle. Um, the avalanche um, erupted and it was 45 degrees. Now I'm going to show you a uh, live how, to, how an avalanche has been created. Here is the avalanche occurring. As you can see, it's falling down very slowly. But on a little avalanche, it would fall 80 miles per hour. We are year six, and this week we have been learning all about wild In literacy, we have been writing poems all about wildfires. You may be wondering what a wildfire is. A wildfire is a rapidly spreading inferno that damages everything in its path. There are many effects of the wildfires as it can damage wildlife. Also, did you know that Earth is the only place where fire can burn? In art, we have been using all your pastels to try and recreate what a wildfire looks like. In silence, we have been learning about the three elements that you need to make a fire. Oxygen, heat, and fuel. Without one of these, Without one of these elements, a fire will not start. We have created this model to demonstrate how quickly trees burn during a wildfire. During our experiment, we learned that to be able for a fire to keep a light, it needs oxygen. We put a tea light underneath a jar and we noticed that it ran out quickly because there was lack of oxygen. Thank you for listening. Make sure that you stop by to come and see our display. Thanking you from year six. Bye! Bye.